This is the story of Rapunzel. A long time ago, in a faraway land, a man and a woman lived happily together, waiting for the birth of their first child. They lived in a small house with a big garden behind it, but they never dared to go inside the garden because they had heard a witch lived inside of it and would curse anyone who entered. One day, the woman sat by the window, looking out at the garden, starving for food, when she saw the delicious vegetables and fruits growing inside. Without any money, they both became desperate for something to eat. The man had no choice but to sneak into the garden and take some food for his wife. So he climbed over the wall and began filling his basket with all the vegetables. As he was placing the last of the tomatoes in his basket, he heard an angry voice call out. Who said you could take my vegetables? Shocked and scared, he begged the witch. Please don't hurt me. I, I'm taking these vegetables for my wife and future child. The witch rubbed her chin and thought. Child, eh? Hmm. I will spare you and even let you eat all the tasty treats in my garden, but in return, you must give me your child. The man was so terrified that he quickly agreed and ran back home, relieved to be safe. Not long after, their daughter was born, and the very next day, the witch kept her promise and took the child from them. The witch named the girl Rapunzel. Rapunzel grew into the most beautiful girl, with long golden hair, as long as a football field. But at age 13, the witch trapped the princess in a tower deep in the forest, with no doors or stairs, so that no one could ever take her. Every morning, the witch would visit Rapunzel and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel would let down her hair, and the witch would climb up to visit her. Rapunzel hated the witch's visits, as she was so cruel and mean. Every day, when she was alone, Rapunzel would sing out her window, dreaming of a better world. Many years later, a prince was exploring the forest when he heard the most beautiful singing he had ever heard. He followed the singing all the way to the tower and hid behind a bush. And while Rapunzel was singing, he fell instantly in love. He watched as the witch came to call out to Rapunzel and climb the tower. After the witch left, the prince called out to Rapunzel at the bottom of the tower, just like he'd seen the witch do. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Down tumbled the long golden hair and up climbed the prince. At first, Rapunzel was frightened of the stranger as she had never seen a man before, but she was immediately taken back by how kind and loving he was compared to the evil witch. Rapunzel loved hearing the prince's stories of the outside world, how there are vast, deep oceans to swim in, huge town squares with hundreds of happy people, and the prince's castle where she could explore all day. They fell in love immediately, and he promised to rescue her so they could live happily together, but they needed a plan to escape. The next day, and for many days after, when the prince visited Rapunzel, he would bring her silk so that she could knit and weave a rope to climb down. One day, the witch noticed Rapunzel hiding something in the corner and grew suspicious. She discovered the silk rope and became enraged. The witch got so angry that she cut off Rapunzel's beautiful golden hair and cast a spell that sent her deep into the middle of the forest to live. When the prince came later that day, he called out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Down came tumbling Rapunzel's long golden hair. When the prince reached the top, the witch <laughs> cried, Ha! The princess has gone forever, and you will never find her. Shocked, the prince fell, landing in a bush of thorns that scratched his eyes, making him blind. Heartbroken and blind, the prince wandered around the forest for months, calling out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, where are you? He didn't know where he was, and he felt like giving up, until one day he heard the most beautiful singing he'd ever heard. Rapunzel, 
Is that you? He shouted. Yes, I found you at last. She cried, running into his arms, and they hugged each other tight, happy to finally be together again. She cried tears of joy that fell into his eyes and cured his blindness. Together, the prince led them back to his castle, and they lived happily ever after. The end. Two boats lost at sea and always traveling. Every wind would catch our sails of chasing dreams and fairy tales. Time just pushed us on bright stars and setting suns and love got in the way. I knew it when I heard you say hello. Hello. Remember to please like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated on all our new videos.